What's up, YouTube? Well, my new uh, bicycle frame for my new mountain bike project is here. Just got the box today. So I am going to open it now. You hear YouTube in the background. I was watching uh, BKXC's uh, new redemption series. Hopefully they come down here and ride uh, Sycamore Canyon where I ride. And it'd be cool if I met up with them. I don't know if I could go ride with them because those guys are like way advanced compared to me. And I have acrophobia fear of heights. So every time I do go out riding in the mountains, it's a challenge for me. And I know it's all in my head, but that's why I go. I, I face those fears because I'm just done being a chicken shit about it. So, and I've ridden most of the trails at Sycamore Canyon, and only one or two of them give me a problem. But, uh, you know, other than that, the reason why I do go up these hills or mountains is so I can bomb them on the way down on my bike. For some reason, when I'm going down a trail that's pretty exposed and I'm on my bike, I'm not that afraid. It's because but the speed I go at, and I'm just hanging on for dear life, but it's a rush. It's like, you know, taking a good fat hit off a nice blunt of some bungee jump kush. Y'all know what I'm talking about, but man, this frame is looking sweet! Carbon fiber, check it out, y'all. The new bike project, which will be do a build-up video on it. So check that out. One hand. Just this is gonna be sick, bro. What's happening? Uh, so I am in the midst of making my assembly video for my new mountain bike project. It's gonna be my 27.5 uh, enduro bike, and. Uh, You've seen the frame. So now I've pressed these in already. 
the bearings, the crank bearings. So I'm going to go ahead and install the bottom bracket cranks plus the shock I got. It does have an, uh, a switch for it uh, so I can uh, activate it from my handlebars whether to lock it out or not. It's by X-Fusion. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and assemble next. And uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. Vader, what's up? Well, here we are in my bedroom again. Here's Vader just chilling. Uh, I already had put together some of my bike and uh, I didn't get it down on video. Reason being because I'm, I was lazy and uh, I'm doing this video off my little GoPro camera and we're gonna see how that is uh, once I edit it all and uh, we'll see how it comes out uh, in this episode. Anyways, uh, so basically what I did to the bike is I installed the brake rotors and brakes. I cut the steering tube onto the fork, get it ready for the stem, which should be coming in from Hong Kong in another two weeks or so. I went ahead and I put in the shock. I had to take the spacers on the bottom part of the shock and uh, fabricate them some to fit just right. I put in the crank arms, the bottom bracket, and that whole assembly. Over on that side, if you can see, I put in the cassette. Uh, the seat is mocked up. I have a dropper post. It's a, just a regular uh, carbon seat post I had on my other bike. But I am going to use that seat. That's as far as I got. Oh. And I ran the cable, the brake cable, through the frame, which uh, was easier than I thought. Um, I thought it was going to be a bitch, but uh, I managed to get it through. I got to run one more cable through the frame, which will be for the derailleur. So that's as far as I got right now. I'm going to do more assembly, and uh, it won't be recorded on video. I'm just going to go ahead and do it uh, because I am doing this off GoPro and no other camera, no, nothing else. So, uh, yeah. So stay tuned for the next uh, uh, few um, pieces of the puzzle that uh, I'll be assembling. Peace. Okay, so we have the bike somewhat assembled. What I've put on is the switch for the dropper post, so all that is working now. I put on the switch here for the shock, the lockout rear shock here, but it's not hooked up yet. I have my gear shifter ready to go. I ran all the cables through the body, or frame, as you see right here. I put the chain on, the drivetrain, but to my dismay, this 11 to 50 tooth cassette, 10-speed cassette, will not work on my bike. So I went ahead and I ordered an 11 to 46 tooth cassette and that should work perfectly. So the hill climbing will be just a tiny bit harder with uh, the lesser teeth low gear, but here is how the bike looks so far. It's pretty killer. All right, um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, end this episode here and there will be a part two to where the bike will be totally finished. Stay tuned.